everyone, it's Keely from Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. Today we are packing the August mystery box ready for shipping. Now most of my mystery boxes have focused on bath and body products but this month we are focusing on fragrancing the home. But there are still a few little bath and body treats in here too. So let's go and take a look at what is inside the August mystery box. So this month when you ordered the mystery box, you had a choice of black, white or surprise me. And that is because the box includes one of these oil burners according to your choice. Now with the oil burners, you can use them either with some water and essential oil in the top or you can use it with some soy wax melts. If you do choose to use soy wax melts with your tea light burners and electric burners, it is worth noting that the wax will never disappear when you use them. The fragrance will evaporate from the wax, leaving that behind. When you are ready to change the wax over, whether it is that it has all, all the fragrance has evaporated or you just want a new smell, with your burners, and particularly with your tea light burners, once that wax is set in the top of the dish and the tea light burner is cool, pop it into the freezer for 10 minutes and you should be able to push that wax straight out of the dish. If you've got a tea light burner, um, sorry, an electric burner, I do not recommend that you put your entire burner into the freezer. If the dish comes off the top of your electric burner, you can put the dish into the freezer and then before you either relight your tea light burner or put your dish back on your electric oil burner, just let the ceramics come back up to room temperature to avoid any cracking. So we're going to get this one wrapped up and into the box. So that you are able to use your tea light burner, we are including a pack of our unscented soy tea lights and each tea light has about a three to five hour burn time. I only ever recommend unscented tea lights for the base of your tea light burners from personal experience. Many, many years ago before I started making candles and melts, I used to purchase them and the company I purchased some from recommended burning the same fragrance tea lights in the base of the burner as what was in the top of the oil burner. One day while cleaning the house and having my oil burner going, I suddenly saw a massive fireball come out of the oil burner. Luckily it was sitting next to the kitchen sink and I was able to knock the burner into the sink, put the fire out and we had no damage to the house at all. What I found out when I started making my own candles and melts is what had happened was as that scented tea light was burning in the cavity of the tea light burner, the fragrance was evaporating and filling that cavity up and there was just not enough room for the fragrance to escape out of the big holes that were actually on this oil burner. Now all fragrances have what is called a flash point and it's the temperature at which a fragrance oil will ignite when it is exposed to a naked flame. Now when you are burning candles in the appropriate manner and when they have been made correctly there is no danger. However with this oil burner the fragrance was building up inside that cavity to the point that it actually caught on fire. So when you burn an unscented tea light, it's not actually evaporating any fragrance or anything else into the cavity of the, um, the tea light burner and poses no risk of it come, going up in a fireball. So I always recommend unscented tea lights to use in your tea light burners and they will go into the base of the box here. So we have our tea light burner and we have some tea lights in the base of the box and now we need some pretty smelly things to go in the top. We have some new fragrances that we are dying to launch within our range and we're just trying to clear out some of our older stock first. But I thought if you ordered the mystery box you could be among the first people to try some of our new fragrances. Now the first one I'm going to put into the box has actually already been released in July and it's called Country Gent. It has notes of bergamot, lemon, tobacco leaf, cinnamon, patchouli and sandalwood and it is a really nice earthy, smoky, sweet sort of smell. It's not too overpowering um, and it's a quite a masculine sort of smell as well but a lot of the ladies have already picked up on this one and really like it. So we'll put that one in first. We do also have another quite woody fragrance being added to the range called Alpine Oak and Vetiver. This one has notes of grapefruit, bergamot, oak, geranium, 
and on a base of vetiver and sandalwood. So again, it is quite a woody fragrance, but it's quite a smooth sort of woody fragrance and not too overpowering as well. So that one will go in there. Now, because my customers love sweet smells, we have found a, fruit, a few sweet fruity ones. I constantly get asked for either a pineapple or a peach fragrance, and I've never been able to find one that I quite like. But we have just found pineapple and peach, and this one is going to make a really nice summer fragrance. It's got notes of raspberry, pineapple, jasmine, peach, and is all on a base of vanilla and musk. So we'll, that one goes in there. We are also releasing persimmon and white lily, which is another quite sweet fruity one. It has notes of persimmon, grapefruit, white lily, cassis, and again is on that vanilla and musk base. And it's a really pretty fragrance when burning. Now this final one that we're putting in, um, at first I wasn't sold on this fragrance but I was told to give it a go by my supplier and I was blown away by it when I did make my melt up. I am calling it Raspberry Sherbet. At first it reminded me of the, the licorice red tubes with the sherbet in the middle of it which is why I actually renamed it to Raspberry Sherbet. But the best way of describing this scent to you is that it smells like red skins. It's got notes of raspberry, strawberry, jasmine and violet and is on that base of vanilla bean and musk and it really is nice. Now I can't stand sweet smelling fragrances, I find them too sickly and overpowering but this one is just right. So when I first started doing the mystery boxes I had the intention of always including either a soap or a body scrub within the box. This is something that we all use every month and I just figured it would be something really nice to go in the box. This month I'm including two different soaps. We are including one called Daisy Chain which features some hand piped grass and daisies on the top of it. The best way of describing the scent of this soap is that it smells like fresh linen on the line on a summer's day. It really is a nice clean fresh fragrance. We are also including a bar of our Positano soap, which has notes of lemon, lime, bergamot and cyclamen through it. Now I have put a video up on how I made this soap and the design for this one was inspired by a trip to the car wash. I'll leave some links to the video of the making of that Positano. Now just so I can get the last bit in, we're going to move that one up there and that one in there. So that little space I have just made there is for one of our bath bombs. This is one of our foaming bath bombs so it does create a nice foam in the bath and if you run more water into the bathtub you do also get some bubbles. This one is in Prosecco Rose. Now I used to make bath bombs a fair bit last year and then with our summer heat they played some havoc. I have been testing and playing with some new recipes and we have just re-released our bath bombs and by popular request I will be including one into our mystery box this month. So that one is now all safely wrapped up and we'll pop it in there to keep it nice and safe. We'll also add in just a little bit more tissue paper here to stop things moving around. As always we are including a leaflet about all the products that have gone into the box. This month's box has $65 worth of value and it also includes your shipping which saves you another $9.95. So we'll pop that in there. It's time to get this one wrapped up and ready to be shipped.
Okay, so the August mystery box is now all wrapped up and ready to be shipped out. The September box is available to purchase online at soyeenshay.com.au and will be shipping out from the 11th of September. We release a new mystery box every month and it's always available from the first of the month to the very last day of the month and shipping always starts from the second Tuesday of that month as well. The mystery boxes include free shipping to anywhere within Australia so pop online and order yours today and you're always more than welcome to order more than one box if you like what you get when you receive your box you can always pop on and order some more. I hope you've enjoyed watching what goes into this month's mystery box. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below or maybe any suggestions of what you'd like to see go into some mystery boxes and we can always have a look at that as well. I do bring out a weekly um, bath and body or soap making video so if you are interested, why not hit the subscribe button and the little bell and it will let you know next time I upload a video. So until then, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.